Investing in your career can be quite confusing, especially when you're just starting from the ground up. And I've got some questions that you can ask so that you may invest your money wisely in your music career for some big wins or at least some decent profit down the line. Coming up right here on the Music Money Makeover Show. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Music Money Makeover Show. Yes, I know, hey, you wanna make some profit on this music business venture career that you're starting out on and you don't quite know where to start, how much to spend, where to spend the money on, right? And what you need to focus on, let alone how to make a business plan or some goals or set some goals so you can get this money back or at least make a return so you can continue to reinvest those profits into the business. Well, we're gonna sort some of this stuff out for you today so maybe you can have a more clear picture of what you need to do right here. So let's jump right into it. Now, positioning. Where are you in your career right now? You're looking for your current positioning. What have you accomplished so far? What have you built up so far? These key questions will start you down the rabbit hole of what is really on the table and where do you actually stand in comparison to the industry as a whole. Your position determines your profit potential in your next promo run. So positioning is kind of like filling the market of your geographical location. You got to see who's doing what in the market. What are they doing? How do they look? What's their you know, presentation like? What's their experience like? What Do people really like them? Where are they performing? How are they putting their mu music out? And then it's not to compare yourself to them. It's just to, just to see what's available that you can utilize or some tactics that you can pull from them to increase your position in the marketplace. So that's why you want to determine your position. You need a point of reference of measurement that you can check yourself against. And a lot of this can be done via your geographical location versus social media or the internet because it is quite difficult to find a position or a measurement based on the internet because it is so vast, all right? So let's go to the next thing here, goals. What are your current plans, intentions, and overall roadmap? Without a roadmap, you aren't going anywhere. No roadmap means you have no plans drawn up, which also means no goals and no intentions to do anything significant. Profit lies just beyond the achievement of your goals. Here we go again. We got to have some goals here. I recommend you do the standard. Everything Everybody says this. You got to take it to your, your five-year goal your three-year goal or two-year goal, whichever one you want to do, your one-year goal, your six-month goal, and your, your first-month goal, right? And then you once you get to the first month, you build it all the way back out to the five-month goal, and you go up from way up high all the way down low and then back up high again and back down low. You go up and down through those goals, and you set those goals. Now, hold those goals right there because we still have to go through some more slides. But if you take it from the first month, you should start to see yourself work your way out of the hole that you're in now to get to that first year. And that first year should put you on the path or trajectory to accomplish your five-year goals. Okay? So I'm just saying your profit lies just beyond or beyond the achievement of your goals. Now let's go to the next thing right here. And that is audience. Okay? We have to ask the five W's here. Who is your audience? Where is your audience? What do they look like and do? When and where do they like to engage with artists like you? Why do they engage with you? Now, if you notice in our second question, I said, where is your audience? Just because we have the internet does not mean that your audience is all over the internet. They do live in a physical place, you know, and you have to determine where that place is or where those places are. Who is your audience? age demographics, what do they like and do? Because this will determine other things down the line in our show today. Okay, when and where do they like to engage with artists like you? And why do they engage with you? Because you have to ask that about, why are these people coming to my page, to my TikTok, to what are they liking so much? And this is normally after you've put out a few, quite a few pieces of content, you can you can start to see what are they liking? What are they, what are they feeding into? And how can I give more of that and add more to it? Okay, your audience retention will determine your continuous profit. Next one here, product, kicking the tires, the music. Now let's look at this right here, masters. The quality of this record production right here will determine how people continuously listen. 
Yeah, I get that we have people who make recordings that don't sound so great, right? But they get listened somehow. But you cannot continue the bad master production only, well, put it this way, you can only continue that for so long. Then we got our composition. Is the song structure any good or do you need songwriters, hook writers, or ghost writers to polish things up? Like I said, you can start here. You always start small, but eventually when you're on the other side, you get your content will, excuse me, your master or your song production gets better and better and better and better and better. You get what I'm saying here? So that's why you want to be able to work on this. You want to pour money in this song production, but not too much because we got some more things to add here. So let's keep rolling. All right, we got to kick the tires on this merchandise. Do you have current operations in place to fulfill orders? I'm willing to bet that a lot of you all don't. Having the operations in place to fulfill these orders is important. Check it out. Does your vision of merchandise reflect who you are beyond a hoodie or a t-shirt? Hoodies and t-shirts are great to start with, but we got to jump beyond that. Expand your vision of who you are and what you can actually sell. The quality of the product in relation to the audience determines the profit. What if your audience doesn't like hoodies and t-shirts? What you going to sell them then? You know what I mean? Let's go. Kicking the tires, live experience. How's their live experience or your live experience, excuse me? Do you sound great? Do you understand crowd control? Is your performance a snooze fest from time to time? Is your performance an incredible and, and show stopping? Will it require high cost insurance? These are some key questions that you need to ask about your live experience, especially the one where we're talking about, do you sound great? A lot of you all need some work on that. And that would mean that you need to invest in that. Do you understand crowd control? And if you don't, maybe you need some performance lessons, some performance coaching. All right. Is your performance a snooze fest? That's performance coaching as well. Is your performance an incredible, is your performance incredible and show stopping? That's performance coaching as well. See that live experience is going to draw a lot of people into you and performance coaching will help you online as well as on the live stage. So we got to create a great experience according to us building a brand. Now, will it require high cost insurance? Eh, depends on what you're doing on stage. You're jumping off the stage like you got pyrotechnics going on and you got like smoke bombs and stuff and it, it, you know, something happens, something catches on fire. I don't know, right? Anyway, the quality of performance in relation to the audience determines profit. Now, Let's get down to some numbers here. Investing. What IP or, well, intellectual property or physical operations are you choosing to invest in? Masters, publishing, merchandise, touring, branding. How much return do you want on your investment? Is it 3x, 5x, 10x, 12x, 14x? You know, major labels want 14x. How much do you need to uh, invest to get? 3x, 5x, 10x, 12x, or 14x? Let's ask this, let's, let's, let's address this. Remember, this requires a promotional budget and muscle for each product, at least one, each one of those categories. Substitute muscle for computer automation where you can. Let's look at this. If we invested $1,000 in our master's production, all right, and we wanted three times the dollar back, which I think is pretty cool, we get $3,000, we profit $2,000. And you're going to see when I get to the branding at the bottom. $1,000 into publishing. This could be, you know, just getting extra hook writers or ghost writers, song writers, whatever. We make, you know, $2,000 profit on the publishing by investing the $1,000. Merchandise. We invest $1,000 and we want five times the dollar back. And that's $4,000 profit. At that point, I would suggest that you aren't doing physical merchandise, that all this stuff is printed, okay? And you start with what you can to yield the most profit with your audience. Touring, $3,000 into touring. This is like clothing for touring, whatever you need to make this a show-stopping performance. And you want five times dollar back, you want $15,000 back, and you want to make $12,000 in profit. Well, you're gonna have to do some, some serious investing there to figure out how can we squeeze as much profit as we can out of this $3,000 invested. And then branding, I put the most there because you know $4,000 at 10 times a dollar, $40,000 and $36,000 in profit can happen. And by investing this much in your brand, whether it be quality of content made, you know, uh, the, the music itself, whatever can be licensed, branding covers a lot of this stuff. It covers the merch, all of that, the way your experience is. Branding is all about creating an experience so the customer can have. Now, I always recommend that you all book a call with me on musicmoneymakeover.com. Download the free and paid stuff below, and I'll see you all later. All right? Peace. 
everybody, thanks for watching the show. Log on to musicmoneymakeover.com forward slash shop to download all my books and free guides. And while you're there, click on the book a call tab to get a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with me to get all your music business questions answered and solved. Thanks for watching.